Hi, I'm going to show you how to build with coils. So the first thing we need to do is learn how to make a coil. So when you use your clay, you want to make sure it's well wedged and then get it started into the coil shape. If you start with a big chunk of clay, it's going to be impossible. Then you take your hands and you want to work in the middle and you're going to slowly spread your hands outward while spreading your fingers out and then coming back to the center. It's kind of like what I call the coil dance. So you take it like this and you stretch out. You keep going back to the center, stretching your hands out, and you want to make sure that you're making a 360 rotation of the clay. Now what I have is a little bit of a flat spot. If that's the case, just turn it to make it more rounded. And there you have your coil. Now some people can make really, really perfect coils. We'll see if I can make one here like that. All right, again, I'm going to make one more, and then I'm going to show you how to build with coils. Take that, start on the inside, work your way out. Some people roll with one hand. Some people kind of go from side to side. Whatever it is, you want to make sure you keep stretching outward, going back to the middle, stretching your hand outward. And there you have it. So now you can see that I have a wide array of pre-made coils over here. Now I'm going to show you how to build with coils. The great thing about building with coils is that you are very flexible with your shape. If you're making cylindrical molds or working on the wheel, you know, you have some limitations. With coil building, you can go crazy if you want with it. The other thing about coil making that you have to remember is you always start from the bottom and you work your way up. So, you know, you, you have to sort of visualize what you're going to be doing. So let's just get started with basic coil building. What I have here is a, cylinder, is a circular slab that I cut out and I'm going to take my coil and put it right on top of the slab. Now my first coil that I'm using is uh, a little bit thicker because I want to have the stability at the bottom of my base. What I do here is I cross this over, I'm taking a pin tool and I'm just cutting off the edges like that and then that will match up really nicely right there. Then. The next thing that you do, using your finger or a wooden tool, you smooth it down onto the base. Now I'm sure some of you are asking, do you have to score and slip your first coil down? And the answer is, if you want to. But usually, if you're just smoothing soft clay to soft clay with coil making, you um, can just do it without scoring and slipping. So I'm going downward, and then I'm going across just to seal this all in. All right, now I'm going to take my next coil and go right on top here. And I'm placing it down very nicely. I'm going to cross over, cut down, and match that up very nicely right there. And what you can see starting to happen on the side is I'm getting a exposed coil design, a very linear design. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to smooth in with a wood tool. Sorry about that. So I like to use this wood tool with the curved edge like that and I'm using my outside hand to support the coil so I'm not distorting the shape and then my inside hand is scraping across to connect the top coil to the one below it. And then you go sideways like this to help smooth the whole thing in. Now I can repeat this completely all the way up. That's my choice. That's your choice as an artist. Um, and I can also leave the coils exposed or I can smooth them in on the outside to have a smooth sided coil base. Um, but that's again your choice. What I'm going to show you now are a couple decorative techniques that you can do with the coil making and one of them is to add shapes. So I'm going to take a coil right here and I'm going to start to make a spiral from the coil and I'm going to then attach that to the side here. But first, before I attach it, I have to smooth the back side because that's what's going to hold this together. So I'm completely smoothing the back side, being careful not to distort the spiral on this side. Okay, 
Then I'll set that down right on top of here. And on the back side here, I'm going to scrape downward, upward, and I might actually even add a little support coil back here for stability. The important thing about adding designs is making sure that they're very well supported on all sides. So if I decide to put a second coil next to it, a second spiral, I'll also smooth it that way. Let me do that just to show you what that is. I'm going to create a second spiral. This is much bigger. <laughs> and then I'm smoothing it. One thing you can do if you're planning your design is to make all of these spirals at one time and then attach them once they're all made. Okay, so I can put that right down next to here. I'm going to turn this. So this needs to be supported from the back as well as next to it, going crosswise like that. This opening right down here I could choose to leave open or I could put some clay from behind for added stability. It all depends on your pattern and your plan. Smoothing it in like that. So now if I wanted to add another coil, I can actually go around. I can go up and over the design and then come back down the side. And everything is good as long as I make sure that I smooth all of this in on the back side. Okay, another thing I can do is I can make the coils come from behind here and stack them up. And then make the next coil again come from behind and stack them up like that. And you can see the different patterns that create, you know, if you do it that way, like that. It's just important when you're making the coil base that you smooth the back side in completely or else it will fall apart. So now I've come in with one coil right here. You can see it's starting to angle in and I'm going to do another one. With it coming in, you want to make sure you have the clay resting on the inside of the coil, like that. And when you smooth, it's important that you get your thumb or your finger underneath like this and really make sure that you move the clay and attach it to the coil below. And then coming in like this also makes your coming out appear even wider. And then I can keep coming in, making sure that the circumference of the circle gets smaller and smaller, depending on the shape that you desire. This. So one of the things that you want to be mindful of when you're finishing your pot is to actually finish it, think about your rim, and don't just make it look like you stopped working on it. And so with this pot right here, I added this little neck right here, and now I'm adding a final coil as a little bit of a finale to the piece. 